Hi, in this sample, I will demonstrate how to use the Apigee Maven Deploy plugin to deploy a proxy from your source code to Apigee using Cloud Build. Apigee Maven plugin is a tool for building and deploying the Apigee API proxy bundles into your Apigee platform. And Cloud Build is a fully managed continuous integration, delivery, and deployment platform that lets you run fast, consistent, and reliable automated builds. Now the prerequisites for this sample are, you should have an Apigee X provisioned and configure external access for API traffic. As a user, you will need access to deploy proxies to Apigee and also trigger cloud build job in your GCP project. Along with that, you will need to have tools like gcloud, unzip, curl, gq and npm installed. Now this sample can be demonstrated using the Cloud Shell Quick Start tutorial or following the setup instructions. In this video, we will use the Cloud Shell Quick Start. Click the Open in Google Cloud Shell to open the Cloud Shell environment. And once the environment is completely loaded, let's follow the instructions provided in the tutorial. Now that I have my environment completely provisioned and ready to use, let's follow the instructions that we have on the tutorial on the very right. Now the first thing that we will have to do is make sure that we have our environment set up. For that, let's do gcloud auth login. Yes, it's going to ask me to go through the login process. I love, I copy the authorization code, I am pasting it here, and that's pretty much it. Next, we'll have to navigate to the deploy Apigee proxy directory, which I just did, and then I can click here to open the env.sh file. So here are some configurations that we'll have to update uh, in order to get this sample deployed to our project. So the first thing that we will need is the, uh, the project ID, Second that we will need is the Apigee host. This is the Apigee host, the domain that you would configure in your environment group, and then the environment where you'd want to deploy this. Now let me replace those values on my configuration file. And let's make sure that we save it. Once this is saved, let's source this environment.sh file. Now that we've done all of the required step, let's click start. Now the next step that we will have to do is make sure that we have enabled Cloud Build API in this project. So let's click this and click enter. Now it's enabled. Now the next step that we will have to do is make sure that the Cloud Build service account has the Apigee org admin role to deploy the proxy to your Apigee org. So we've enabled it through the gcloud command. Next is triggering the gcloud uh, build through this cloud command where we pass the Apigee environment that we want to be using to push the proxy into. Now this is going to take a few minutes. Meanwhile, let's take a quick look at the cloudbuild.yaml. Now this cloudbuild.yaml is a very simple file that first generates a token. Second, it, it basically packages the bundle which is taking the entire code and creating a bundle, a .zip file, and at the end, it deploys it. So it's all through the Maven POM file that is available as part of the code. Once this is complete, you should be seeing a status that says success. And then if you go through the tutorial again, you will see that at the end of the cloud build trigger, a proxy must be deployed uh, to Apigee called sample hello CICD. Now let's log into the Apigee console to make sure that we see that proxy. Yes, I see a sample hello CICD proxy deployed a minute ago. Let's go back and see if the proxy is working as expected. So we have a sample curl command here. So let's copy that and let's make a few calls. You should be able to see the calls coming in. Now that explains the sample of how to, how to basically deploy an Apigee proxy from your source code to Apigee using the Maven plugin and Cloud Build. Now that we've had this, please uh, rate this tutorial. 
And if you want to clean up this particular assets that we've just created, just go ahead and run the cleanup deploy apogeeproxy.sh. This will make sure that it goes and it deletes the sample proxy that we just created. You'll see that's deleted. Thanks for watching. I hope this content was useful to you. If you have not signed up for Apigee yet, use this link. And if you have any questions, please visit the Apigee community.